Tim, Take Down T-shirts, back in another video here. Uh, do you want to learn how I do puff embroidery? How I hold my puff down when it's getting ready to embroider? Stay tuned, I'll show you how. This is one of the finished products, but I'll show you how to do that uh, right after this. All right, cool. Uh, so after that, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna let this stitch out. Uh, what it's gonna do with this, it's going to embroider uh, all the surroundings for it. For it. It's gonna embroider all of the borders first, and then it's gonna do the puff. And uh, I used two layers of uh, puff on this one. I'll even show you how I hoop the hat, uh, and uh, we'll go from there. So for right in a second, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the machine so we can get to the puff. Let's go. All right, we're out of bobbin. So I was wondering what was looking so funny. So uh, so as you've seen on there, the little trick that I do here, uh, when I run out of bobbin, you can notice that it's out. Uh, my little trick I do here is I always do a cross cut, or I always do a cut, I don't know why I call it cross cut. Uh, but I do a, a, a cut, uh, I'll put my hat over there. I'm just gonna put it right there for now. Uh, so, see, out of bobbin. Uh, as in previous videos, throw that away. Already have a bobbin ready to go. Uh, this is my second bobbin, so I'm going to give this a little, uh, a little bit of love. Clean this up a little bit. Blow it out. Give a couple dabs back there. Top of there. A couple dabs right there. Um, I put a little bit too much back there. I wiped that down. All the other stuff went into the hole, so we're good. Now we'll load the hat back up. Make sure all those are clipped so that this was not in the way so I didn't have to adjust it. So uh, I'm looking at the machine. I see how far I gotta go back. Um, you can float it. I just hit the stop button. Uh, since it stopped, I hit cut. I hit the stop button, it will go backwards. Uh, so you watch and see how far it's gotta go back. So it did the O. I went a little bit too far. I'm gonna go back here. Um, so I'm gonna put it in uh, float low. Okay, it's going over there. So now I'll go back to where it says stop and I'm gonna hit start. This alignment is really far off. Why is this alignment off? So something happened and uh, I'm going to destitch it. Not sure exactly what actually happened with alignment, but tie in, tie out parts are the hardest parts. Get that tie in and a tie out spot, and that'll come out a lot better. 
All right, so yeah, we're gonna try to get in my stitches here. Probably start here. Get that center stitch out of my seam ripper. Another reason to have a good uh, tension. You have a good tension, you get enough room in there to pull these stitches out if you have to. I'm a little tight. Don't worry about the, the white coming through. I got a solution for that if it's not too bad. The white, I think, is my uh, bobbin anyways. So going in between the stitches, that goes up and down. And pulling straight up. Something definitely went wrong with this E. Threw the whole design off. You definitely can see a lot of white in this E. And it's on the seam, so. Could make it a little harder. Sorry, I don't even know if I'm showing you. So I can't even see what's going on back there because there's so many tie in, tie outs. This is an expensive hat, I don't want to throw it out the door, out the window. I caught it in enough time. It has a bobbin ran out. I really don't know what happened. I'm mind blown with that, but we're gonna try to fix it. What's cool about this is it's a black hat. So, I have a trick to make it look like part of the hat, even if I leave a few stitches in there. That means I got, that means I got the, the center piece, or the, um, not center piece, center run, where the bobbin was at. So that was basically gone now, and I'll just, I can get my tweezers too. I get my tweezers, I could probably peel out some of these too. People have used, uh, on the inside, they've used uh, like hair trimmers, peanut type of, uh, like hair clippers. I tried mine that I used for my beard. It didn't work very well. But they were for my beard, not for this, even though they're the same freaking things. All right, here we go. You can do this before or you can do this after, uh, but this is a fabric marker. And uh, since this is black, we'll just paint We'll just paint, we'll just uh, marker up the white spots that missed and then the, uh, the red thread that's still showing through. And uh, it should embroider in the same spot, but you see how that's basically gone. Uh, it should embroider in the same spot, pretty dang close to the same spot. So my hope is uh, it. Uh, my hope is that it embroiders right in that same spot, and you'll never tell. And if I don't like it, I just won't ship it. Uh, but that that right there is uh, a mess up that I have. Uh, just just glad I caught it. I seen it off. I tried to fix it. Couldn't get it to fix. But uh, that's how I destitch it and uh, get it ready to uh, embroider on the next hat. All right, Tim. Uh, I'm going to show you how I, uh, I'm going to show you how I hoop the hat. Uh, I put the hat open like this. These ones here, um, they were sewed on the inside here. Uh, let me see if the other hat has it. This hat was sewed on the inside, 
So I take my seam ripper to these and uh, I run it down the middle right here. You see, I run it down the middle, bam. And undo the seam. You can use your uh, cutters too if you want, but I take that off and then I go to the other side. Boom, that's off. Uh, could you restitch it when you're done? Yeah, I'm not going to. Um, wish it was back farther, didn't get in my way, but um, hope you can see. So as I'm hooping the hat, I'm pulling the bottom out or the flap, lining it up. Now I'm taking this part and getting it lined up. I'm pulling, pulling tight. And I'm, I'm kind of like using my hand, more like this, my thumb. Now I'm lining it up there, okay? So now that's straight. So if we were stitched on this side, I would line it up a little bit better. Not a little bit better, but I would make sure a lot of that was straight uh, this way, but we don't have to worry about that. Uh, so give me a second, I'll put you on the other side. Okay, ready? So take the same thing, pull this out, pull this down. This goes underneath. I use my fingers here and make sure that clips over the top of that one. Hold them down, doing like three things at once, okay? So I'm holding the hat, pulling the hat tight this way, and as I'm pulling up, it goes this way. So when you pull in the hat, it straps inside there, right? So I'm off a little bit, I'm okay. I will adjust it when I get out of the machine. Uh, so as long as it's straight this way, which it should be, and this rides right along the brim, right in front of the brim. So I'll show you that. So, right across the brim right across so if we were stitching on here i would uh i would take uh, clamps and clamp that but we're not doing anything on the side so i leave it and uh now let's mount it to the, the machine take the hat go sideways in turn and uh now i'm looking at this a little bit more and we want to pull a more uh of this fabric marker on here All right, so snap that in. I use my palms. I use my palms against this, and then you tap. Make sure that's there. Tap down here. Lined up. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna realign this because, oops, wrong thing. We're gonna yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it back on needle number one. And you see how I was off? That's okay. That's okay. We'll just move move the machine over. And then I gotta go down. Okay. Now I'm gonna run a trace. Way too high now. Yeah, there it go down. I just had an issue with my machine that I'm, I'm almost fixing. So, still a little high. Yeah, we gotta go down more. All right, here we go. Ready for the trick? Rubber band. Take the rubber band, go around here. 
with a rubber band back there. I'm using two uh, pieces of uh, foam. Um, just it's a little bit bigger than I normally use. I normally don't use, I normally don't use a rubber band um, all the time, uh, but for the sake of the video, I am using a rubber band. Uh, so put this on top of your embroidered area. Take the rubber band, slide it, slide it up a little bit on the bottom. Okay. See that? Your foam will stay in the same spot as long as this is not going to get embroidered when it goes in there. Okay. So rubber band goes all the way around like that. Rubber band goes all the way around like that. And now we'll hit start. This has a uh, tack down stitch alignment stitch so it'll go all the way across all the letters all right so i just stopped the machine uh it did do uh it did do a cut so you either can leave the rubber band on take it off uh this file is set up pretty good uh, so I really don't have to leave the rubber band on. Uh, so I'm just going to take the rubber band off and uh, I'll skip through this here and uh, double embroidery and then when I come back I'll show you how I uh, finish the embroidery and uh, I don't use the heat gun for mine. I use uh, grill lighter. So I'll show you that when I get done. So stay tuned, like, subscribe and uh, we'll see you when this is done uh, doing the puff. Okay, see you in a second. As you can notice, some of the uh, thread started shredding up there, uh, right there. So uh, either it's dirty down there or uh, it's catching into somewhere here. And uh, what we're just going to do is we're going to take the thread, uh, we're going to hit the cut pull out a little bit, feel it, see if there's any kind of tension in there. There's no tension in there. It might just be whatever. Uh, you can clean your blade out or the eye out a little bit. Take some air, blow it out, and then we'll re-thread it. Um, when I re-thread, uh, I don't do all the extra stuff. I thread it, make sure I have enough out, and then I just let it dangle there. We're gonna go backwards again. And as I told before, uh, let me close this. Um, and when I told before, all I'm gonna do is hit the stop button. Then I'm gonna go back, watch the screen. See how far I gotta go back. Uh, it's a little tough with this one because it's black on black. So when it's going back, it doesn't show uh, it disappearing. So it's hard to see, but uh, we're gonna start back uh, where I just stopped at that and we'll see if it went back far enough. Yep, went back far enough. Another trick for you, uh, when I phrase, how to go back, all that good stuff, so almost done. I'll show you the rest. Uh, take it off the machine. Let's take it off the machine. So, here we go here. Hopefully there's enough light in here. I didn't turn on my overhead light. Let me turn it on, let's see. All right, hopefully there's enough light. Hopefully I don't overpower uh, what I got going on, but there's the, the puff. Uh, I'm gonna take it off the hat hoop, obviously. Off the hat hoop. I normally get the next hat going, uh, but it's a youth hat, so I'm gonna go a little bit smaller with the logo. 
uh, hopefully it works. Because uh, it's a youth hat, it definitely needs to be a little bit smaller. Uh, but when I peel these off, I like to go into the uh, into the holes. So when I'm peeling here, I'm going to go here, here, and then this one I'm going to try to go this way. So it peels into uh, the foam. So like that, you see that right there? So I'm going to try to go this way. So it goes all the way up to the edge and it cuts where it's, where it's cut. So not too much to uh, clean up from here. So that way, there's one little tail here. And uh, that one little spot was on uh, the whole project. So uh, probably something in the digitizing. Uh, so yeah, so I'm just gonna take this and uh, find the rest of them. I'm gonna make a mess on my table here. Um, one thing about using two layers of foam, and I get my foam from Hobby Lobby, or not Hobby Lobby, but I get my foam from uh, Joanne Fabrics uh, in town, the stuff I get. Uh, I do like the, the thicker stuff I got from Madeira. Uh, that actually cuts a lot better. Uh, two layers seem to Sometimes if digitizing and tension's not on point. Uh, if digitizing and uh, tension is not on point, it could cause a little bit of extra stuff hanging out that you have to push in, I've noticed. Uh, so we got a lot of that. So every one of my hats right in that area had a little problem. Uh, so I have a 3D puff tool. Really, I really like this one. Uh, it has a flat edge, but it also has a round, round edge. Uh, I like that because, like, you could use your tweezers, uh, but that's not really like rounded in, in areas that you would need it. So I just take it and push in a little bit of the spots that are messed up. Not really messed up, but is poking out for whatever reason. Didn't cut very well or bad foam uh, so this end right here if you had I don't really have much here but if you had an end you could take this and like flatten it out uh, so that right here so I could take this one here and then push inside and basically basically what you're doing is you're tucking it underneath uh, the threads uh, so and there's that so I have my Flex lighter, okay. Uh, so let me change this angle here. There we go. So I have my flex lighter, okay. Uh, make sure it has a good flame. I just fill this up. Every time you fill it up, that flame doesn't go too high. But I take the flame, and all I do is take it across the embroider, embroidery spots, tighten up the threads. This with the flame. It burns the extra stuff, uh, like threads, you know, it melts it, does a, a better job than a heat gun, I think. But there's that. Uh, and then the inside here, same thing. I like the curved one, so you can bend it like this. And Instead of using my torch that I normally use, butane torch, I use my butane lighter, which is a butane, just has a real flame. So, there's that. Put the uh, thing back inside. Pull that back in. There's that top part up there. Um, it don't look too bad. I'll probably tinker with it a little bit more um, and take care of that, but. There it is on the hat. Right, looks real good, ready to go. Uh, normally I don't wear other people's hats, but I wore it for the picture. But there's the hats, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I do have a video of me doing these on the channel too, along last year, uh, but I figured I'll show you how I put uh, the rubber band on one more time. Maybe this uh, video goes viral for puff embroidery. 
Uh, like my other, I have a, a good one that, that's on there that has a, quite a few, of, quite a bit of views. Um, but I don't explain what I'm doing in there. I don't believe. Uh, so there's, uh, go check that one out if you want. I do a lot of puff, not do a lot of puff embroidery, but I do enough puff embroidery. I love puff embroidery. This is two layers of one, I think it's one and a half mil thick puff from Joanne Fabrics. So this is Tim, T-Town T-shirts. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, hope you picked up some tricks. Kind of messed up on me too while I was recording, but you know, on the chain, uh, on the cuff, we just gotta, as embroiders, you gotta figure out how to solve problems. And uh, I think I do. Um, and uh, other than that, this is Tim, T-Town T-shirts. Like, subscribe, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.